um, that's pretty futuristic and you've probably seen in Stargate. The FN P90, but this one is the civilian version, it's the PS90. Let's go. For safety reasons, as always, the guns are unloaded and saved. Now we can begin. If you're new to the channel, I did a video in German. Check it out. So, FN Herstal, sitting in Belgium, that's where it's produced, Belgium. It holds the special cartridge 5.7 times 28 or you can call it the 5.7. You've probably heard about the pistol the FN um, produces. It's the FN uh, 5.7, which is built on the round. Also this one, you know the gun from Counter-Strike or all the other shooter games out there. And maybe in Stargate, where um, the SG-1 had this as their standard rifle. So huge shout out to Vienna Arsenal and to Bravo 06 for having me and letting me film here. Also, one of our sponsors that outfit me is techmerch.com. If you want some shirts like this or this, you should visit it. And also we have tactical merchandise for women. So let's go over a few data for you. The overall length is 19.88 inches the weight is 5.8 pounds. Magazine capacity is 50 rounds. The barrel length is about 10.39 inches. And the price. You can get this for about $1,800. What's so special about it? It's a bulb up design. So everything, the action happens back in here and the ammunition is loaded sideways, which they get turned in the back and put into the gun. One of the weird things on this one is the charging handle. It's super small. Like, you see that? I have to grab on this. It's ambidextrous, but yeah, it's super hard to grab. That's, that's really weird. Um, the trigger reminds me on the Steyr Auk. Not bad, it's just different. And what is also really different is we have an ejection port at the bottom. Okay guys, enough talk, let's go to the range and see what it's capable of. So the FN Hairstyle PS90 Damn, this thing has absolutely no recoil. Um, it's comparable to a 22. And you know, the 22 does not have any recoil at all. It's a lot of fun to shoot, but it's absolutely no fun to load. The 50 round magazines are super hard to load, but um, I mean, it's 50 rounds. The weight balance is absolutely amazing. I don't think there's any gun that's balanced out better. So all in all, a great experience, great gun, but super expensive ammunition. 